Hi students, this is going to be the lesson for day 93. You're doing this one for homework um, so that we get a little bit ahead tomorrow so we can do some activities in class and have extra time for you to get your work done. Um, so hopefully you get this done in time. Today's lesson is very similar to last lessons. What I'd like you to do is, um, I'd like you to just write this down, day 93, linear inequalities and two variables, and then just write the objective. Okay. So this lesson is one of your standards. Um, it'll be very similar to what you learned before. Remember graphing lines? Remember how we had like a graph like this, y equals to 2 thirds x plus 1? Remember this is like saying y equals mx plus b? So your m here is 2 thirds, meaning it rises 2, runs 3, and your slope is 1. You could easily graph this, go to the y-intercept draw point at 1, Go up two over one two three draw another point then you keep doing this above the graph um, one two one two over one two and three plot a point right and you're creating a nice line so we're gonna do the exact same thing today except it'll be um, a little bit different okay so that's the goal for today vocabulary Solutions to inequalities in two variables, one or more ordered pairs that make the inequality true. So uh, we want to make true statements. It's got to make logical sense, okay? Remember, we want logic in math. Boundary line is the line and the inequality that shows where the graph reaches. It can be included or not. If the inequality is the greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, it will be a solid line and included in the solution. If it is just greater than or less than the line is dotted and not included in the solution set. Okay? And then, of course, the half plane is going to be part of the coordinate plane that contains the solution sets and the equality. You don't need to write all this down, so I just wanted you to start getting familiar with these. If you want to pause and write this down, you can, but I'm not requiring you to. Here we go. I'm going to show you how to do a couple of problems here. Number one. So we got y is equal to less than or equal to two fifths x plus one. So the way I would do this is um, I want to figure out what my slope and y intercept are. So in this case, our slope is two fifths. So I'm going to write that down two over five. I'm going to rise to run five. And our y intercept is going to be one. So I'm going to go to 1 on my y-intercept plot a point, and then I'm rising 2 and running 5 and plotting a point here. I ran out of space to go this way, but I know that the line would go in that direction forever, So, but I know it should also go in the opposite direction, so I'm going to go the opposite way, 2 and over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plot a point here, okay? I ran out of space. Now here's where it needs to, you need to be a little careful. Now we're going to draw a line, but we want to be careful what kind of line we draw. So notice here that it says less than or equal to. Since it says less than and equal to, we're going to draw a solid line because it includes equal to. Okay? Since it includes equal to, we could draw a solid line connecting the points. So we're going to draw a solid line. If it had not said equal to, then you would, you know, make it a dotted line, but we're not going to do that. All right, the next thing we want to do is look at what it says. This is y is less than. Did you notice how it says less than here? Okay, less than or equal to. That means we're going to shade underneath. So we're going to take like our the side of our pencil or a highlighter or something and shade less than, which is all of the, the area that's underneath here, okay? And I'm going to use this uh, highlighter. And what this is saying is that any of these points on the line or any of the yellow region is a solution. So making making this making this statement true, right? So like if I pick a point here, let's say zero zero, it's in the yellow region. Okay, so what does that mean? Well let's say this is our solution. We have an x and a y here. If I plot this in here, I say zero is less than or equal to two fifths uh, times x, which is zero plus one, anything times zero is zero. So we got 2 fifths times 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, so is, we get this, and then we ask ourselves, does this 
equation makes sense? Is this logical? Yeah, it's logical. Zero is less than one. Okay. Or maybe I could pick this point right here, maybe um, zero, one. Okay. And I'll do that again. Let's say I was like, okay, what one is less than or equal to two fifths times zero plus one. And then I'm like, okay, two fifths times zero is zero. Zero plus one is one. And I look at this and I say one is equal less than or equal to one. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. That's definitely a solution. You see, I'm checking these to make sure they're correct. Now we could pick something that's obviously wrong. Let's pick one that's like out of the way. I'll pick a different color, like uh, green. Okay, we don't like green here, right? Haha. <laughs> so we got negative three, one. Let's pick negative three, one. Or actually, let me pick a better point for us. Um, let's pick negative five, one. Okay. I'm going to do this one underneath here. Watch what happens. Instead of y, I'm going to put 1 is less than or equal to 2 fifths x. And we said that's equal to negative 5 or x. We can make this a fraction like that. <clears throat> and then we have all of that plus 1. Okay. It gets a little weird with the fractions, but we could get through it. So we got 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. And then 5 times negative 1, or 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1. And I know negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2, and negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, right? So is 1 less than negative 1? No, this is not a solution, so we wouldn't use that, okay? So that's the concept. The idea here, though, you need to learn how to graph it, okay? So that's number 1. Number 2. Ready? Number 2 is not in our um, slope-intercept form, so I want to convert that into slope-intercept form. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to subtract 4x on both sides. And I'll actually put it right here this time. So we got 3y is less than negative 4x minus 3. And then we're going to divide both sides by 3. So you got y is less than negative 4 thirds x minus one because three negative three divided by three is negative one. Now we have the slope and y-intercept, so I'm going to plot my y-intercept of negative one. Okay, and then we're going to go down four. Slope is negative four thirds. We're going to go down one, two, three, four over one, two, three. Plot a point, and then up four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Plot a point. And now I'm looking at my inequality. Notice that it doesn't say less than, so I need to have a dotted line. So check this out. You have to do this very carefully, okay? So what you're going to do is draw a dot, dotted line all the way across. I'll try my best to make sure it's neat. Notice that I'm doing a dotted line. What this is saying is that none of the points on this line work, but this is a boundary, okay? So we know that this dotted line goes just over in that direction. And then look at my inequality again. It says less than, so we want to, you know, highlight underneath again. Okay. And what that's saying is that anything in this shaded area but not on the line would work. So I'm not going to go through the logical test, but you should be able to realize, recognize that anything on this dotted line or anything off the dotted line but in the yellow region should work. Okay. So write these down. The steps are there also. All right. Okay, so I want you to try one more by yourself. Okay, please pause the video, try this by yourself, and then I'll show you the answer. Okay, ready, set, go. Okay, so here we go. So this is what I would do. I know that my y-intercept is two, and that my slope is negative three halves. So. I'm going to go down negative 3, and then over 2, plot a point, and then down negative 3, over 2, plot a point. And then I ran out of space, I'll go the opposite way, oh, up 3, over 2, plot a point. Then I notice that it's greater than, without the equal to sign, so I, I need to make a dotted line here.
both directions and we are going to shade, it says greater than, so we're going to shade above. Oh, let me fix that, make it look a little neater. Okay. And there you go. So what this is saying, anything in the shaded region would work. So a solution, any solutions would be in this shaded region, okay, which goes out infinitely in that direction. All of these points here and on the dotted line would not be solutions. Anyways, that concludes the lesson. So um, if you want to practice some more, you can. Um, but tomorrow we'll come back um, to discuss this, okay? We'll have a little mini quiz at the beginning. All right, thanks, kids. See you tomorrow. Bye.